Going on to problem number two. Okay, so problem number two, uh, you were working on a hospital in Japan in an area of high seismic risk. At a preliminary design review, there are various concepts being considered. Which is the most sensible approach? So, okay, Heather, uh, we've got a couple different things. We've got an eight-story L-shaped building. We've got a six-story symmetrical plus-shaped building. We've got a square building. And then we've got the rather restrictive, you should not build a hospital in a seismic zone. Uh, what do you say about the L-shaped building? Well, the L-shaped building could work. It has a one piece to it that we don't like as much as the rest, and that is this little inside corner here. Uh, I think that if you imagine grabbing this end here and grabbing this end here and wanting to move them back and forth, you'll see that this spot right here just kind of wants to rip apart right through there. And so that not that you can't build this way, but it wouldn't be my favorite choice. And you'd have to put a lot of extra structure yep, in there in exactly. order to do that. So you're, what you're essentially saying is that each of those wings is going, going to start shaking on its own, mm -hmm. and they're going to kind of crunch into each yeah, other so at if, that inside corner. If you corner. really like this choice, I would probably say that I want to build it this way, where you see a joint between the two. And so they can kind of they have a way to move separately yep. and not hurt each other. Exactly. Uh, how about the plus? Well, the plus is going to be obviously the same thing, just yeah. four times, right? Yeah, exactly. The plus has a lot of what, and basically what we call these inside corners are re-entrant corners. And um, from some of the handout material that you sent out, there are some code tables that were pulled up together. And so it, it's kind of one of those things that we have to design around and make the structure more robust. So we're spending more money on structure instead of all the pretty architecture. And that's what we like, pretty architecture. Um, yeah, so if you look in the uh, the problem set handout, there's a there's a couple of uh, sheets in there that give a little bit more information about re-entering corners and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously, we're coming down to it. C is clearly the answer. You're talking about a square-shaped building. And the reason for that is just because it's all going to move as one. Yeah, and it's symmetric, so we love symmetry. Um, for seismic issues. Yep, yep. So it, it allows us to be... Uh, you know, ideally we'd want to put something on each of the outside edges, so it allows us to be uh, centered, if you will, about the, where the mass of the building is going to work, and that's usually about pretty close to the center of a square. So yeah, our choice would be the square. And one of the things you'll find is that often on the exam there'll be things that will say something like, you should not build this or do that. And uh, those are not usually sort of logical answers. They may seem logical at different points, but um, you can always do it. It's just a matter, as Heather was saying, like where do you want to spend the money? And since the exam is often about the idea of efficiency, this is sort of a good example of uh, just like that's the D is just not a reasonable answer in this context. Mm -hmm.